The third type of monitoring and assessment is short-term achievement assessment. And the questions that will be uh, investigating uh, within short-term achievement assessment is to what extent monitoring and assessment helps us uh, look at, you know, the achievement of uh, language students on weekly or daily basis. And what's its purpose? So that's the questions we'll be looking at uh, uh, in the short-term achievement assessment. Well, um, the purpose, of course, short-term achievement assessment should be measurable, which I mean to say, which is uh, motivating to the students, which clearly sets the objectives of that particular assessment. So if, if the students have got, you know, clear objectives already set for them, that might help them engage with the learning process. So as I said before, this type of assessment is used to monitor daily or weekly um, uh, progress of the students. And uh, this is a useful way to give, uh, you know, to get feedback, which can not only be used by the teachers, and, but also can be used by the students. So the students can know on weekly or daily basis the gaps between the current performance and the des desired performance. And similarly, uh, the teachers can use uh, this feedback to mold, change, or improve their pedagogical practice. Right. So, for example, if we've got an intensive language program, by intensive I mean to say which is very uh, short term, could be of two months, for example. So, uh, we need to ensure that we are actually undertaking, conducting short-term assessment and this will help us know what actually the students have already learned and what areas they need to improve right um, as i said before if uh, short-term assessment is measurable i mean which is uh, uh, which which clearly tells the objectives for which the students are being assessed so that could be motivational. For example, that, that could come in the form of quizzes or uh, uh, in the form of games. I like the idea of using games or mystery, uh, some mystery plays in the classroom, role plays. So there are a variety of choices uh, which we can use to uh, continue a short-term achievement assessment. Um, well, uh, for example, if we've got uh, an example of short-term achievement uh, assessment. So within, uh, for example, if, this, if you wanna, if you are improving uh, the, you know, helping students to improve their reading skills. So on weekly or daily basis, what you can note is how quickly the students are reading. I mean, and well, if they are able to, let's say, uh, 550 words, or if they are uh, you know, able to, uh, you know, comprehend the text and uh, infer the meaning uh, from, uh, you know, different ways. So this is uh, this is how we can use uh, performance object objectives to uh, to ensure that short term assessment is actually being used. So sh good short-term assessment, as I be said before, is should be measurable, which should contain clear objectives, telling the students uh, uh, the criteria and the purpose for which they are going to be assessed. So that could come up in the form of, you know, asking students to keep a clear record of their progress, what they are actually learning on weekly or daily basis. So we should be mindful of uh, time limitations uh, when we are actually conducting uh, in, uh, within an intensive language program. So uh, in summary, short-term achievement assessment is, uh, is, uh, is an important type of monitoring and assessment. And this helps us 
know about you know the quality of a program and the quality of the learning and uh, it also lets us know about the quality or the feedback which the students and teachers can use to you know fill the gaps uh, and which they can use to make their progress better